Hello, Leo. Welcome to your full reading for today. First full spread reading for February. The morning musing was uploaded earlier this morning, so if you missed it, when you get to the end of this reading and the end screen pops up, there is a thumbnail. There are two thumbnails with my um, logo in the middle. The one on the left should be clickable. If you click it, it will take you to the morning musing so you can watch it right after this. It was really interesting. Um, lots of beautiful energy coming through in that reading. Yes, really lovely. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy this reading and you check out the morning musing that if you like what you see and you enjoy it and it aligns with your experience that you'll join us by subscribing. Um, and for those of you returning, oh, please double check that you are in fact subscribed. Click the little notification bell. Um, sometimes the platform cre uh, conducts updates and everything kind of resets. I have found that myself where I thought I was subscribed to something and then turns out I'm no longer subscribed. So just double check. That would go a long way. So what I'm going to do here is this is um, a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, and Rising. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If none of it speaks to you and you're here as a Leo sun, you can check out the reading that aligns with your rising sign and see if that's more accurate. Or you can be a cross watcher and watch the sun and or rising sign readings for your divine counterpart. Sometimes messages come through when you're a cross watcher. That's my recommendation. Okay, I'm pulling two cards from Spirit Animal Oracle, one for divine masculine, one for divine feminine, and always remember, feel free to flip the energies around. So if I get through the whole reading and you're like, everything she said about the masculine speaks to me, but I'm the feminine, it's okay. Just reverse it. This is just a structure I set for myself. So the masculine gets card 53, seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Watch and wait, kind of in that holding pattern. You know how a seahorse kind of just stays in, a, in, in one place, watch and wait. I don't know if you ever saw sea monkeys when you were little, but that's what I'm thinking of. Um, Feminine gets card 55. Now that's a master number, spiritual number, sacred number. We don't reduce it. Snake spirit, time to heal. Time to heal for this feminine. Hmm. Watch and wait, time to heal. I will pull one more card for the Leos watching. From numerology guidance, I was using these cards in the morning musings um, for the last series at the end, uh, second half of January, and everybody really liked the messages that came through, so I decided to bring them to the full spread. So let's see what numerology guidance is coming through for Leo, Sun, and Rising. Leo, Sun, and Rising, numerology guidance for Leo, Sun, and Rising, please. Effort. Oh, it's hard to see. It's card number 13. Effort, right? One and three is four. Four is about creating the structure. Um, think of the four sides of the foundation, and then you build upon it. So there's some effort here. Uh, I know that's so hard for you to see. I will read a little bit about it so it makes some sense to you. Whew. Where is it? That's so weird. I saw the ease and then it was like not there. Oh, that's... <laughs> Hello, welcome to my weekend. I was supposed to be looking at the number, not... <laughs> old lady in the house okay effort this card indicates a time when extra effort is required to overcome your current obstacles and challenges as you are now being tested and your attitude is key rather than surrender to self-pity laziness negativity or frustration you must utilize your inner power for you are stronger than you think what was your morning musing message your oracle card was strength and it talked about your inner power got it 
This is connected. When the going gets tough, the tough must get going. So pull yourself together, Leo, and have faith in your success. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to call upon your inner and outer resources to achieve the outcome you desire. Rather than succumb to quick fix solutions, shortcuts, or manipulation, you must plan. Remember that Knight of Pentacles? You must plan, focus, and act with tenacity and drive. With effort and determination, you will break through all restrictions that are presently holding you back. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that require you to put extra effort into overcoming your challenges. Never ever give up and your success is guaranteed. But um bum This is definitely connected to the morning oracle, which was the strength card from Soul Coaching. Uh, I think you're getting a serious message here, Leo, right? I know we got the watch and wait for the masculine and the time to heal for the feminine, but I am feeling almost as if it's the Leo energy that kind of has to summon the courage and the strength and, and the confidence and put in the effort to overcome the obstacle. I just feel the, um, the Leo is the leader in this particular scenario. Um, I felt it two readings ago. I, I think you got the leadership card in the morning musing. That Leo was taking the lead to lead you back to each other. That's something like that a couple weeks ago. So this is, you know, just my little thoughts on it. What's going on in your connection, Leo? Let's see. Oh, Leo, I'm so happy to be with you. I always love doing readings for you. Wow. Don't panic. <laughs> Let me walk you through it. So this first card I pull is how you're showing up in the reading. It's kind of the energy that's on your mind or, or in your present sphere um, of reality at the moment. And the masculine is dealing with subterfuge or some kind of sabotage. The Five of Swords is a very complicated energy. I don't think that the masculine is in the Five of Swords. I think they're dealing with the Five of Swords. They're dealing with feeling set up, feeling sabotaged somewhere else in their life. Feminine, um, Three of Swords, you know? Um, it's painful. It's been painful. Um I'm feeling the heart heaviness right now as I, I'm speaking to you. I can kind of feel it. You know what happens when I start to feel things? <laughs> Mom starts to cry and I am not wanting to ruin my makeup. Uh, yeah, I get it. I get it, feminine. This was the um, anchor yeah, this was the anchor card this morning for you, Leo. The Ten of Wands. That's about offloading the negative karma. Hello, negative karma. Offloading the negative karma. But it has been an effort, right? It's been a struggle. It's been an effort. It's um, You've been carrying this weight on your shoulders. So this is the past energy. It's been a long time. Present experience within this connection. Boom. Old habits die hard, dear masculine. The Capricornian energy of the devil could be a karmic partner. Absolutely. Couldn't be a karmic partner. And, um, you know, record. Okay, so let me clarify because some of you are new and aren't used to my style of reading, right? Here's the sabotage, okay? It isn't coming from the feminine, it's coming from something darker. It's coming from something that's kind of sucking the light out of the room, um, feeling like being set up, being sabotaged by something that's got its claws dug in. Future part of this reading for the masculine is the King of Pentacles. That is a masculine archetype of life partner, right? Grounded, stable, together, ready to commit, ready to meet you you know, be there for the feminine, you know, I mean, whoever they're choosing as a life partner, I should say, but in this case, I'm doing, I'm doing a twin flame soulmate reading. So I'm talking about divine counterparts. Uh, 
Uh, King of Pentacles, for some of you, that could be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is what the pentacle energy is. And I think I already said the devil is Capricorn. Astrological Association. Mm. Feminine. Eight of Wands in the past. There's the strength card. Hello, Leo. And the star was in your morning spread as well. Yeah, this, um, I felt it was both, I felt it was a little mix of some healing energy because it came out with this 10 of wands. Some healing energy, but also a wish granted. So we will look at that. That is the Aquarian energy of the star. Let me give a little shuffle. Oh, it's not so funny. King of Pentacles comes out. Five of Swords, please. Mm-hmm. Wow. Four of Swords. Healing. You know, I was saying this morning the uh, strength oracle that came through, the soul coaching oracle was strength, right? And it was talking about how the inner strength, similar to this effort card, right? Going within and kind of getting Zen and meditative to, you know, find your inner strength. And that's what this feels like. Going to ground, getting very quiet, very still, really going inward to get clarity around the situation. We are dealing with swords to kind of heal a little bit, but also to sort of come back through. When you come back, when you come back up out of the four of swords energy, you're much stronger. So I kind of feel that this masculine is being sabotaged to some degree. And in essence, they are needing to go to ground to regather themselves to kind of reassess, realign, re, um, reevaluate, and then re-energize so they can come out and deal with whatever this sabotage is. Boom, King of Wands. There's another Leo card. Um, and then they'll be very clear about what they want and ready to go get it crazy the ten of wands in the past see it came out as the anchor card this morning so it felt very current but it's showing up in the past for the masculine mm. it makes sense wanting to put the burden down this has been something this um, masculine's been carrying for a long time but not knowing how to do it Kind of overthinking everything feeling very stuck very trapped with the burden what's been weighing on them hello whatever's been weighing on them this um energy has been very heavy and hard to escape one more on that king of swords and they want it they want to deal with it in the right way this is past facing so this is what they've been going through past tense Right, King of Swords. Uh, I want to. I want to make sure I do things the right way from high honor, integrity, character, honesty, truth. Right, the King of Swords. Um, it's all about your idealized view of life, your high standards, your morals, the things that you. Um, when I say you, I'm talking about the masculine's F energy. Is all about you know. Um, um, living up to their own high standards and ideals, and wanting to deal with this situation in the right way problem with the king of swords is that as they're in that strategizing mode um since all the kings have extra swords and all the queens have extra cups this is swords on swords and what you end up with is something that's not very warm and fuzzy you can't read this person very well when they're in that mode when they're in that headspace because it's all strategy and they're not dropped into their heart chakra so i have a feeling um, that that was very off-putting for this feminine. Devil in the presence um, experience of the connection. There's something that has a hold on this masculine. Um, I'm going to give you my little spiel about the devil in a minute, but I want to clarify it first. Wow. Masculine's going through some things. If you are here as a Leo masculine or just a masculine, even as a cross watcher, um, I'm seeing 
what's going on here and I feel the full weight of it. I know you've tried to kind of escape it, get out of it. You felt very trapped. The Eight of Swords with that devil, very trapped. Um, somebody kind of controlling the whole thing that might sabotage you and the tower. Because whatever this devil's got a hold on you for isn't stable, isn't, isn't sustainable. It's all kind of crashing down. But you get to make a choice. The choice is yours. As this tower kind of comes down for whatever this masculine is dealing with now, it is the present experience of this connection. That's the position. But I'm feeling interference from somewhere else, a heavy burden that has interfered with this connection. And therefore, because there's this karmic energy in the picture, whatever that is, and here's the spiel about the devil, it can be addiction, it can be obsession, it can be like workaholism, it can be anything that has a hold or a grip on a person that interferes with the smooth flow of functioning between counterparts. It can be um, controlling, it can be manipulation, do you see what I'm saying? The energy of the devil, and in its lightest mode, if I was just going to quit, you know, it could be like, hey, let your hair down, walk on the wild side, right? In its upright position, the devil is kind of just like, don't be so stuck in your groove, kind of like, you know, flip your hair and kind of move on. That's not what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing the serious shadow side of that devil energy with the tower. And it, it leads me to believe that whatever has had a hold on this masculine, they've been trying to get away from it, right? Ten of, ten of wands, I really want to get up, but I'm trapped, I'm stuck. I want to do things the right way. And the universe is like, too late. I'm going to move it out of the way for you. So I do feel that the, that the devil and the tower, while it's showing up in the present experience of this connection, that's my intention for that position, I think it's about whoever has been sabotaging this connection. Does that make sense? <sighs> That's why the lovers comes out on top of it. That tower clears the path. Whatever has had a hold on this masculine has interfered in this connection is being cleared out of the path so the masculine can choose. Can choose. This is a card of choice. Gemini, the lovers, it's a card of choice. Sometimes you just have to come home to self. You just have to choose yourself. And other times you choose the union with your divine counterpart. This is a twin flame soulmate card of union. So I almost feel like the tower's coming in to wipe away the dark shadow, the heavy hold that whatever has had a grip on this masculine, um, it's, it's, gonna, it's moving it away. Wow. That's like, is it five o'clock yet? I need an adult beverage for this reading. King of Pentacles in the future. Oh, regrets of the past, mistakes of the past. Whew. Right? This solid, stable, grounded energy, the masculine stepping into this energy of I'm, I'm ready now for what's, you know, what could be really good for us here in 3D. I'm just so full of regret. So full of regret. You know, for some, for some, you're going to say, if you're here as the masculine, you know, I, I had all these opportunities and I just couldn't get out of whatever was holding me back and I just pissed away an opportunity and I'm just stuck with remorse and regret. It happens. If, if that's not really your story, then you're just kind of in this energy of, you know what? Things didn't turn out the way I wanted. So I'm kind of looking back with, you know, some wistfulness, some longing for things that didn't go right. With who? Queen of Pentacles. Could be, um, for some of you, this might be, you might be married. There might be a marriage here that's been been very much tested. 
For some of you, um, I'm feeling the earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'll just say it, but what I'm really picking up on is an archetype of masculine and feminine archetypes of life partners, of people who are committed to each other here in 3D. And all the regret that ensues in the middle of that, right? Almost as if it's all backward facing, looking back at what, what went wrong. So if in the absence of this being a marital situation, um, then I think that this masculine is just seeing this feminine in that in the view of, you know, high vibration, connectedness, groundedness, um, being there for each other in 3D, having each other's back, you know, moving forward together, building a life together. That's what I'm seeing here. But that five of cups comes out to say that, that opportunity may have long since passed. It came out this morning. If you remember, it was the Ten of Swords. Clarifying was underneath. Clarifying the Nine of Swords, which would have been the anxiety. Look at me pulling this out of my memory. That Nine of Swords was the anxiety in the future position of, is it too late? Is, it, is there so much water under the bridge that Ten of Swords just annihilated you know, all of us, right? Is it too late? I'm seeing a similar feeling and flavor in that five of cups wow okay feminine three of swords this reading is going to go long i can tell already sure all that anxiety and stress from the heartache of it all the heart heaviness sleepless nights but not giving up Oh, dear feminine, the nine of wands, not giving up. It's been stressful. It's been quite a slog is the word I like to use for that nine of wands. Uh, I'm not feeling it, but that eight of that eight of pentacles would kind of say that you're really focused on creative solutions, but I'm not feeling that as much. So I'm not going to pull it. I feel like this is it. This is where we are. Nine of wands. This is stressful. This has been so painful. My heart's heavy. My heart's broken. I'm full of anxiety and stress. I can barely sleep, but I haven't given up yet. I'm still persevering. In the past, the Eight of Wands. <laughs> What's going on here, feminine? Hello. <laughs> So the communication here, the strength card to me feels like in the past, dear feminine, you may have been gathering up your courage, your strength, and your confidence to kind of overcome all these challenges, all this hurt, all this interference and sabotage, all the darkness of the energy. You might have just been like pushing yourself to, you know, gathering up the courage and confidence to have that talk, to have that communication funny that that comes out with your divine masculine absolutely i'm not sure that it happened though i'm not sure that it happened right it didn't happen underneath five of pentacles would suggest that on some level you didn't know how to access the warmth of the connection you've kind of been out, left out in the cold this would suggest there was some parting of the ways or you were you were ghosted or abandoned or devalued, whatever that is. That five of pentacles energy underneath while you were trying to gather up your courage, your confidence to kind of overcome all this obstacle stuff and communicate with the divine masculine. I'm not sure you did. That's why the strength comes back right now. right see see you're very aware feminine of the sabotage you're very aware this is someone who plays plays for keeps man there is like there's like I, i'm gonna win at all costs if i have to like cut my own throat doing it i will win at all costs and i don't think that's the energy coming from the masculine i think there's somebody else somebody something something else that's very much been sabotaging this connection 
Um, and here it is in this present experience, feminine, working up your courage, your confidence, and your strength to know that the two of you can work together to overcome the obstacle of the Five of Swords. These two help each other. There's that beautiful infinity, eternity symbol above her head. And she's sort of just kind of scratching the chin of the lion and taming him. And then he protects her in return. So there's like this really symbiotic connection between these two. And I feel that that's you and your, and your um, Leo or vice versa, if it's coming through reversed. But what you're persevering, what, you've, what you're gathering up your strength to overcome is this five of swords. Wow. One more on that. So now the Eight of Pentacles comes out. It wanted to come out over here, but I guess it really needs to be in this part of the reading. The Eight of Pentacles, because this is present energy and so is this. The Eight of Pentacles is like, I'm going to put down my head and I'm going to work and focus on a creative solution to this problem. To this problem. Here's your problem. You're gathering up your strength, your courage, your confidence to know the two of you, if you work together, put your heads together, whatever, you can overcome it. Here's the focus, sustained effort, attention, and energy, and focus on this one issue. So that makes sense in that position. I'm glad it came back out. And here's your patience card, seven of pentacles underneath. Yeah, um, it does require some patience to some degree because it's underneath. It's like, it's as if on some level, um, in your psyche, you know that the seeds have been planted here and that things will kind of have to kind of fall out organically, grow organically, evolve, I should say, organically. So that's a good sign. It, it suggests that the feminine isn't expecting miracles, although this would be the miracle card. Here's the star, that beautiful Aquarian star. Wish granted. Oh, Leo, this reading. Yes, wish granted, leap of faith. Here we go. Brand new day. And the happily ever after. Oh my God. Wow. I have a lot of Leo placements, so these readings get to me. Um, you're going to have this opportunity in the future. Obviously, um, this isn't going to happen overnight, guys. I got to tell you. But there's there's an energy here that tells me you are both moving in the same direction. I'm a little more concerned, quite frankly, about this masculine feeling that it's too late. It's a little too late. But the feminine is going to be focused and determined and understand on some level. We have two pentacles cards. Pentacles is years, people. So just understand this isn't going to happen overnight. It may not take years, but I'm saying it's the slower moving energy in the tarot is the pentacles. So knowing that you've got to put your, sustain your effort and attention and focus and trust on some level that the seeds are being planted and that when it's supposed to evolve and fall, you know, grow, it will. And this is what the outcome, this is what will be the prize. All right, Leo, if this is speaking to you, oh my gosh, or if you're here as a cross watcher, I'm going to take it to the extended right now. Um, and it's similar to the morning musing, except it's, it's, it's off of this energy. And now from this energy, I'm going to kind of, you know, um, what do I like to say? Like zero in on something very specific, an issue, an energy, a situation that needs your attention from all of this, boilerplate it down. The next card would be a block challenge or a dynamic between the two of you around that issue, situation, or energy. And then the third card is what you can do about that block challenge or dynamic or what you can expect to come of it. I'm also going to pull cards for your messages to and from each other. What do you want each other to know? What is the masculine trying to say to the feminine? What is the feminine trying to say to the masculine? One card for you, Leo, from your higher self, spirit of the universe. That card comes through usually as some form of advice, confirmation, sometimes a warning, something to look out for or be mindful of. And then the outcome position, where might this whole connection be heading in the future? 
and in what time frame. If timing is a factor, it would show up there. So if this is speaking to you, see I'm already at 30 minutes. The link is below. I'll be there in a second. I need a little sip of water. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you on a future reading. Bye, Leo.